Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 13 February 2020. Coming to you today with a review of a watch that gets lots of attention on YouTube and other forms of social media. This is my long-term review of the vaunted, famous, and awesome Casio MDV 106 Duro, the Marlin watch. Not a Timex. I believe this watch was released in 2011 by Casio. And Casio is a pretty cool company. Japanese company founded in 1946. Made their first watch in 1974. They became famous for digital watches, calculator watches. In later years, the vaunted G-Shock digital watch series. Today, they are really pushing forward in the, the solar quartz technology, radio-controlled and Bluetooth watches, the Oceanus series. But the Duro, the watch you're looking at right now, is widely recognized as the best dive watch for under $100 that you can buy. I concur. I bought this watch, I believe, in 2013, so... I've had it not quite seven years. It is on its third battery, so about two to three years on a battery. It runs an in-house, Japanese-made Casio movement. And if you look next to the six o'clock marker, you'll see Japan movement. Better get my pointer toothpick ready. It is extremely accurate. I'm almost embarrassed to say this, but this watch is in my rotation with two other divers, the Citizen Promaster EcoDrive BN0190 and my relatively new Seiko Solar Paddy Diver. Um, <laughs> I set all three of these watches to my cell phone clock 15 days ago. Uh, the Seiko is about five seconds fast. So it's running about 10 seconds a month fast. The Citizen is three seconds fast. So about six seconds per month. This one, two seconds fast after 15 days. So it's less than five seconds per month quick. <laughs> Not bad for a $50 watch. That's right. The Duro is available now on Amazon as of the recording of this video for $46. That's free shipping if you're a Prime member. Wow. So let's take a look at it, shall we? First, let's get the dimensions out of the way. Diameter is 44 millimeters. Lug to lug, about 49. Thickness, 12 millimeters. Weight, about 90 grams, 3.22 ounces, I believe. 316 stainless steel case. Uh, horizontal brushing at the, on the tops of the lugs. It's polished everywhere else. And you can see this watch is my beater. It's got some marks on it. Pretty much everywhere. Big chunk out of the painted aluminum bezel. This is my everyday watch. It's the watch I work in. It's the watch I mow the lawn in, swim in, you know the deal. Okay, well, let's talk about the bezel. It is a unidirectional aluminum bezel, screen printed in black. It does have a loomed pip. Uh, the bezel action is superb. Can't hardly hear it. Very little backlash, and it's 120 clicks. Uh, my Citizen Promaster BN0190 is a 60 click bezel, and it kind of feels like crap compared to this one. Nice coined edge for grip. Just a classically styled watch, isn't it? Yes, it is. Standard diver markings on the bezel. The first 15 minutes are individually graduated. And then every five minutes thereafter. <clears throat> it 
nice downward turn to the uh, to the lugs even though it is 44 millimeters in diameter and 49 lug to lug it wears pretty sweet on the wrist I'll give you a couple wrist shots here the first one will be kind of looking at the face and it doesn't overly dominate my seven and a quarter inch wrist and then an another shot that gives you kind of a quartering view to see how it lies on the wrist mind you it's underneath two layers of pretty heavy nylon uh, it is right now wearing a 22 millimeter NATO from Blue Shark. See if I can focus on the buckle. Uh, it lasted about two and a half years on the original resin strap before it split um, in one of the spring bar areas. And I just went to it. I, you know what? For, for years, up until about a month ago, I wore it on an old 20 millimeter NATO that I had. And, you know, it just it was serviceable. But now it's on a proper 22. And I'll take this off for just a moment so we can look at the back of the watch. Kind of finishing up on the case. Nicely engraved. No cheesy laser etching, which I think is amazing at this price point. Got the big marlin in the middle of the case back. It does tell us that the watch movement is made in Japan, but it's assembled in China. That's what you're going to get for 50 bucks, guys. So we, had, we do have a screw-down crown as well as a screw-down case back. And when it pops, you've got the first position for the quick set date and then the hacking movement. It sports 200 meters of water resistance. Although it is not ISO certified, you don't see the word divers on the front of the dial. But this thing has been in the pool, in the ocean, in the shower its entire life. Never any indication that that has been a problem. So cool. The dial on the Duro is black with a nice sunburst, very subtle. The chapter ring is separate and angled. The markers are applied with silver tone borders and very nice loom. And then the arrow hour hand, the sword minute hand, and the arrow second hand are all loomed. I do notice one alignment issue with the watch. And if you watch the second hand go around, you'll notice as it gets to the bottom of the scale, its ticks don't line up with the, with the second graduations very well. So from about 3 to 9 o'clock, it doesn't line up well. And then from about 9 to 2, it does. Oh, well, it's a $50 watch. <laughs> uh, when the bezel is home, it lines up well with the chapter ring and the 12 o'clock. Actually a really, really, really buttoned up piece and apparently freaking bulletproof. Um, I mean bulletproof. Re reinstall my band here. This, ni this watch, this knife, this watch has gotten more attention in knife videos than most of the knives I have in my knife videos. No kidding. Everybody always comments, what's that watch? Well, it's this watch. Let's see. It's seven, seven years old. It keeps perfect time. It never stops unless it needs a battery. It gets beaten to hell and back. And it still looks right smart. And the neat thing about this mostly polished case is that when it gets pretty hacked up, I just polish it. Thankfully, the brush finish on the lug tops isn't in an area that takes a lot of abuse, so I've never had to touch that. It's about time to clean it up again, I guess. A 
let's see before we go I suppose I should get you a loom shot so I'm gonna charge it up with my flashlight and show it to you in the dark be right back well there it is you know it's not Seiko Luma bright not even quite as good as my Citizen ProMaster EcoDrive loom but you can sure see everything notice the hour hand is a little bluer than the minute hand you can even see that little speck of loom on the second hand as it goes around the track and the pip is quite visible not very long lasting and you'll see it fade as we're talking but again it's a fifty dollar watch so to kind of wrap up other than its durability its extreme accuracy and I, this has got to be a good example i don't think Casio's specs are five seconds plus or minus per month, but that's what this one runs. Um, and it's classic good looks. I guess there's not a lot to say about it. But isn't it just classically dive watch beautiful? I sure think it is. Oh, by the way, mineral crystal. And you'll see mine has some marks on it. A lot of marks. Who cares? It does exactly what I bought it for. If you do not own a Duro, <laughs> you need to own a Duro. Stunning, reliable, durable, awesome. And that's about all I have to say about that. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the word is sharp and the Casio Duro is right on time.